It is episode 744. It is January 6, 2020. I don't know when I'm going to get used to that. 2020. 5.87 p.m. It feels like we should have flying cars or something. Actually, I just have a car. Um, ba -boom, ba -boom, boom, 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 boom. I woke up pretty late this morning. Um, and I was like, eh, cartoon's going to be really late today. And I think I finished this around noon. I wasn't too sure what I was going to do, and I didn't have this idea then. I had two other ideas in my head. But then with the way some things were developing, I, I thought I should push those aside and maybe do something on the cultural sites thing. So I did. And there's some other things I've developed today. So I, I don't know what my next cartoon is going to be yet. But I do. I do. I just thought that was funny. I don't know what it is about hamburger or that I like so much. Our <laughs> grimace and Ronald McDonald. It's just... Ridiculous. It's funny. It, it, it's it's funny that Donald Trump is threatening war crimes. And even when the administration comes out and goes, well, that's not what he means. We're not going to do that. He comes back and goes, yaha, yaha, yaha. <laughs> threatening war crimes. And just don't really give a shit. I mean, he's, he's defying court orders. I guess he doesn't really care about breaking the law, international law, American law. He, he don't, you know, he really doesn't give a rat's ass. That, the man truly does think that he's a king. I always think it's funny, though, that, that we can attack a country and then we warn them not to, not to, uh, not to seek revenge or, or, to, or to come back at us. And don't you dare think about hitting us the way we just hit you. Don't you dare think about it. I mean, I'm not crying for this dead general, but it just seems like so much horseshit. It's like, get real. And apparently Donald Trump had other options, like hitting uh, militias in Iraq, which they had already done, but that was some of the other options that was presented to him. And from what I read, they usually throw in something really, really horrible, like, which is what they did by pr proposing taking out the general. But they propose something like that so they can go back and go, well, they, these other things, they're not so bad. <laughs> let's, let's, let's look at those and let's do one of those. But with Donald Trump, it's like, <laughs> he picks the most horrible thing. It's kind of like whenever I, I used to take uh, I, cartoon ideas to my editor at the Freelance Star, and I'd take one that's just really bad, just really bad and lame, and about two or three other ideas. That, that I really really liked, and hopefully that he would go for the for the for the really good ones. But then he'd always pick the really lame one that that, that I like planted in there <laughs> to make him like the other ones. So then I learned that I need to make it just really 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 like horrible, like super duper offensive, <laughs> you know. So anyway, that's what the generals have got to figure out, you know. But you wonder what sort of cultural sites that they'll hit for Donald Trump, where they hit like. A McDonald's, KFC, or, or maybe uh, at one of his resorts or one of his hotels or something. But they they have to understand that half these hotels he doesn't really own. They just he just sold his name, you know. So and those things are going away too. And I don't want to give him any ideas, but you know, if one of these hotels is hit, they're all changing their names. <laughs> they're gonna be like Stratford Arms or some shit like that. Nobody's gonna want Trump on the name, and people already don't like it so much. Shout out time. Errol says, hey, opening a Pringles can is hard. It is not. It is not, especially with all the goodness inside. There's just awesome. And uh, Errol says, normally I agree with you when you say Baron Trump could uh, serve and totally be safe. However, since his dad was a jerk to a lot of people, I don't think him serving would be as secure. He's 95% for sure. Be safe, probably female shrugging emoji. Okay. Now nah, he's fine. He's rich. He, he's rich. Rich bastards get, are always fine. They'll be okay. I wouldn't lose sleep over him. Error also wrote, yeah, no, I can't watch Girl News this way. Too depressing to me. It does have a bias. It's just not liberal or conservative. It's dramatic and it's emotional. It's always bad. Can't do it. I need to shout out some stuff. Winking on this guitar. Um, and then Robert Cortino says, uh, I am really mad. Our president's planning to hit cultural sites. That is a war crime. I don't know how I have not pounded the keyboard yet. Well, I pounded it. Hey, Rebecca Beeman, you're brand new. This is your shout out, Rebecca Beeman. Thank you for coming in and, and leaving us a comment. Uh, she, Rebecca writes, you forgot to mention Donnie's daddy never served in World War II, which was pretty much expected for people to do. Internal cranium spurs, his grandpa was also a draft dodger, running away to the U.S. and opening brothels. Making sure people get screwed runs in the family. I uh, should wrote more to him when I have to click this. this is
And then she writes, uh, until the mid-60s, married men had an out from the draft. Yeah, that's true. I think so. I think that's true. I wasn't there, so. I think, yeah, that's true. Um, that is your cartoon, folks. I hope you all have a great day. And I might do one later tonight or early in the morning with the CNN cartoon. I haven't decided yet. If you have a comment, I'll give you a shout out just like Rebecca Beeman just got her very first one. And click the red button and become a subscriber, please. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye.